Jonathan Wright calls out Chef D. Tells Chef D, come catch that fade for Natalie. So, first of all, just last week, Biggie and Anna was calling out Salsa Santana for being messy at the reunion, which here's the thing. I think Salsa Santana needs to host every reunion. He has no, at this point in time, because he's coming in and he's new, he has no biasness and no loyalty to any of those women. He was an outsider that came into the Zeus Network to collect a bag. He needs to stay where he's at, you know? As a matter of fact, I think Salsa Santana probably need to replace Carlos on Auntie's podcast. But they try to sick Jonathan on Salsa Santana, and people can't play Jonathan like that, okay? Jonathan, he's a bad boy. He got to do what he got to do. He carried bad boy season two. He started a half show and because he wanted to pitch dad and promote dad, get executive credit. And he didn't want to do bad boy. So now he's trying to reignite the bad boys franchise. And I think people, I think it's a great idea. First of all, I love Jonathan. Let's be clear about that. Okay. He the one who told me Armand Wiggins has been a crackhead and always going to be a crackhead. Pretty much shooting needles doing crystal meth and shit when he was in Houston. Oh, no. Left T.S. Madison basement to go to Houston over there with Jonathan Wright and them shooting up needles then came out to L.A. He's calling out Chef D. And here you go. Really? Oh, no. I'm in St. Louis and y'all keep mentioning that. Tell the shit. Tell Chef D come outside. Jesus don't want no animal. It means you what? I ain't gonna cry no right either. So basically, he says he's sick and tired of people talking about call out Sausage Santana. Jonathan Wright is not gonna fight Sausage Santana. That's just too easy. That's just Sausage Santana is to Jonathan Wright uh, is, is a girl. He's one of the girls, okay? He's Sausage Santana is one of the girls. That's what they have accepted him as. Move over, Bobby Lights. We tired of you. You and Tommy getting mad and crazy. The only reason she y'all do powder together, so she up there acting a fool in front of you. You know, all y'all trauma bonding over that cocaine, and we seen it tonight. But I like the fact that Jonathan Wright is calling out Chef D. Chef D is close to Natalie. What's Jonathan's beef with Natalie? Jonathan's beef with Natalie, he feels like Natalie is gatekeeping him from getting his own show like a hair show on Zeus Network for whatever reason. That's why he's beefing with Natalie. He can't fight Linnell because he needs a check for Linnell. He can't fight him. And Lemon Pepper slowly but surely coming out the closet. We're going to talk about Janessa with her pathetic self and what happened during Baddie's reunion, uh, episode three at the end, her final closing words, show how scared she was. But Jonathan is playing the game. He's playing the game. And then he actually has talent. He has clout. You know, Chef D, he's Chef. He he do. You know, I really like Jonathan a lot. Okay. I like him a lot. And uh, he called Chef D out. I want to see the smoke. I want to see him give it up. Like, I've seen Chef D and Jonathan. Chef D is a big motherfucker. Why you big and sorry? You big and sorry? Huh? If you scared, just say you scared. You know, he ain't even got to be on no smoke. Half of these people ain't got no smoke with each other. We seen that during Baddie's career. And we ain't got no smoke, but we got to fight. We got to get these people that content. Jonathan moving or may have already moved to Atlanta. Okay. You know, Jonathan is one of the people. I don't talk to him every day. If I see him, it's, it's just straight up love and respect. That's it. I still remember when Jonathan pulled that one dude dress out of his head, LOL. <laughs> so I know Jonathan in a different way and I know he's playing this game and I'm here for it I'm here for him if they let Stunner Girl come back after what Stunner Girl said months ago and we ain't gonna forget that and just a couple weeks ago Jonathan's grievance is because he feel like he's been economically deprived and creatively deprived they should let Jonathan back on the show and we shouldn't say that we want this I want this. Jonathan is a star. He's a reality star. And I want to see this. Okay. Um, so Chef D, come outside. We want to hear from you. We don't want to hear no excuses. <laughs> this nigga beat you up on the lobster roll and niggas can't eat it. We want to see you fight. All right. 